Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Salvation Elite. We're back with another video, guys. And today, guys, is Learn from the Pros. Finally back on the channel, and we're talking about Search and Destroy today. Watching Scump and the Boys play some Search, and it should be a pretty good time, and I am excited to get into it. So let's go. This is from a tournament they were playing. It wasn't with the full-on Huntsman squad, but it was with a lot of the guys, and they were playing on Gunrunner. So we're skipping forward a little bit. We're heading into the fourth round. We always start off these videos with a little bit of communication, and to talk about the importance of communication in Search and Destroy and in Competitive as a whole, and that's definitely what we see here. So Formal goes down, and he helps paint the picture in, in the rest of the guys' heads of how this might play out and where the last two guys might be. It's really good communication off the start, and it allows for the rest of the guys to clean up the last of the players. So let's just watch the clip and then we can talk about it. Let's go. I gave up close, I'm close, I'm close, Dizzler. Jump down. Jump down. Dead, dead. One more, left corner, left corner. Uh, nice one shot job. in the vent, one shot in the vent. Going back in the vent right now. We have bomb right uh, now? I can't get bomb, I cannot get bomb. I don't have daddy. Daddy, jump, like I said. Nice, nice that's him. I'm gonna take one bomb. One more's gonna be B, one more's gonna be B. And then the other guy's probably back A. Bomb secured, destroy their weapon caches. Could be flanking, man. You're playing OT or Max. Where do you Max stun? is a flank player. Dead? Max is a flank player. Nice. Max is gonna be a flank player. That's how he plays. Oh, no, he's gonna suck on up. Where is he? Where is he? Right here, left. Right here, left. Back blue crate. Back blue crate. I'm hitting him with you. You wanna hit him out? I hear him in bathrooms. I hear him in bathrooms. Yeah, bathrooms door's open. I'm watching bathrooms. So you see at the end there of the clip how Envoy pushes out while Skump watches that left side. It was a good play to push that together since they knew he was back there somewhere. And Skump's watching bathrooms. He ends up peeking out, gets the kill. It's just a really good technical search and destroy play from both of them to make sure they work together and get that last guy and win the round. For a lot of inexperienced teams, that communication can kind of break down as the round goes along. There's not as clear of a picture about how this is playing out as a whole. You don't get that bigger picture perspective inside your head as you're playing. And that can really cause problems for your team long term if you don't have a good idea of where everyone's going to be. Skump and Envoy do a good job of that here at the end to win the round and make it happen for him. So this next one's in round four, just a round later, and Envoy's on fire. So he has a cruise missile already at this point in the game. Just watch how they use these streaks. They communicate that they're going to use the streaks before the round, then they move up. Skump plays patiently inside a blue crate. He really plays patiently and waits for those nades and those stuns to come through and pay attention to how the boys are calling out that they're nading B-side, they're stunning B-side, which allows Skump to anticipate that. And it makes it easier because Skump knows that they're his team's nades, not the opposing teams, so there's no miscommunication there. And then when they call in that streak, they back up, so they give up the map position to make sure they don't get picked as there's a little bit of chaos when they call in that streak. Because naturally, if you think about it, when you when you press that cruise missile, everyone knows it's coming in, which means they scatter, they get inside, they get to cover, and it can create some chaos. And so they backed up a little bit to make sure that they can then push up and take control of the map. Get map control with the streak, and that's exactly what they do. Because if they didn't push up, the bomb would have got down. They might have lost that round because of it. So again, good play as a whole using that streak there. And that is textbook stuff. So let's watch it. I'm laying in blue crate, watching only left side. The door. They double naded they B. I'm nading it. I needed a pipe player. Definitely pipe in that room. They smoke. They uh, smoke. I'm just gonna sit here. Unless that was I'm us. Play, all right, I'm gonna play your water. Yeah, they smoke. Am I train tracks still in? Uh, I'm pushed up right door right now. Frame in your right cut, Matt. I'm stunning over green. I, did, I didn't flash you. but a, a B. Oh uh, yeah, when you guys. I'm gonna flash over your B street. I'm, I'm gonna try to get pipe room. Yo, Dylan, actually get close to their door. You wanna shriek though? You wanna shriek? Alright, yeah. I, I got one, I got one. Yeah, 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 streak, streak, streak. Wait for the streak. Okay, I'm chilling. Yeah, I'm chilling. Yo, there's two on B-bomb, three on B-bomb, all four actually. Watch my left. Four. Seth, watch my left. Okay, I got you, got you, got you. There's three in green actually. Three green, 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 green. Yeah, 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 they're in green. I'm throwing an aid, they're back to the green. Nice. Green. There's three in green, one back to the green. One more green, one shot, green, one shot. Laying down in green. You have the kill, chase him, chase him. This guy's like back spawn or something. Yeah, this guy put, yeah, back spawn on this guy. One bullet, one bullet. Good job, boys. So moving forward round seven, this is a really good round for Skump, and it shows off some nasty gun skill here. But overall, what's, what's really nice about this play, it comes down to 2v2 with Skump and Formal. And so what Skump knows is that the opposing team gets split up, which you'll hear in the callouts. He says, yo, let's push him, let's push him, because their teammate dies, the one of the last two guys inside Cole. Formal and Skump push towards B-Bomb to try to get that pick early on, and it ends up working out. Skump clutches it. Pay attention to how Skump rotates back to A before all that goes down, which allows him to get the call out and make that command to make the round happen. So Skump plays a fantastic round here. Of course, let's watch it. Was there back ramp? Oh, I think yeah, yeah, he was. Blast was I'm, I'm on you guys. I need help right side. Silo? You need help? Yeah, low key. Someone's I'm looking, on me. I'm looking over you. I'm looking over you. I'm looking at mid wall. I don't see anything. Dead. 
Another guy, another guy middle, another guy middle. I got away. No, he's he's one shot, he's one shot. He's weak pipes, weak pipes. Yo, we should rush this guy, we should rush this guy. He's going back to half the wall. He pushed me, he pushed me, he ran away. He's going to be right here, right here. Other guy's half wall. Round out, round out. Last guy's on half wall. Harry? You might go back spawn. What the fuck? Oh. What the fuck Whoa. was that, Blast? That's a Blastful child. That's a Blastful child. <laughs> that is a Blastful player. <laughs> what the fuck? So moving forward into round nine, this is actually a little bit of a mistake from the boys. So two are left alive, bombs down at B. One of the opposing players is standing way at the back of the spawn, and they gotta push him. Time's ticking, all right? Skump does forget that he has his smoke available, which he should have smoked almost like right away or earlier on, because it would have forced the opposing player to move up and check bomb earlier. But instead, he waits to throw the smoke. They get caught in a little bit of a waiting game at the back of the spawn. That's not a bad play if bomb wasn't down, but because bomb's down and the clock's ticking, you gotta get going there and gotta get this kill and then get back to the fuse. So, so you'll see what probably goes wrong here, and then we'll talk about it. Let's go. Left, Matt. Left. Right. Left. Right. And I'm about to chow bomb. I'm about to chow right bomb. Right now. Got me. One guy's in our vent room. Where was this guy in their base? He's in spawn. One shot in spawn. Absolute. Absolute. You can hop. No, no, no. You can't hop. You can't hop. Kill him. I'm watching back left. He's gonna peek it. You have to peek it. You should smoke the bomb, Seth. Yeah, do it. Do it. Yeah, turn around and smoke it. And pop your daddy. He's front door. Front door. Front door. Oh my god. He's throwing an A. He's throwing an A. He's right, like yeah. Oh shit. So again, you can just see that Scump kind of gets caught for time here. And it's a good play from the from the last player alive, but at the end of the day, Scump, if you would have smoked it a little bit earlier and then communicated and pinched that together, it's a guaranteed round win. Like, you really shouldn't lose that when you know he's at the back of the spawn like that. You got like 30 seconds left. You should be able to smoke that, push him, and then get back to bomb and make it happen. But that time just doesn't work out in their favor. And they just get a little bit complacent and wait it out too long. In that type of situation, you and your teammate got to communicate that and try to push together quickly because when bomb's down, You've got to be on the offensive and be the aggressor to make plays and make things happen, especially when you're in a situation like that. So there's two instances in this round 11. It gets pretty interesting at the end, intense at the end here, but two instances here that I want to talk about. The first one's pretty basic. It's just another communication thing with your teammates and how you set up on and make plays like this. So formal pushes up to oil, to generator, however you want to call it, the call out. And Scump's laying inside of blue. So he sits down, he lays down, he's watching formal's outer and he communicates that with formal he tells him yo matt i'm watching your outer don't worry about it i got that so they're able to communicate that it doesn't necessarily work out because because formal gets picked from mid at the end of the day that that's exactly how you want to play these type of situations this can work on any map anywhere you just need to make sure you call that out so your teammate knows what you're watching they don't have to worry about being killed from behind they can focus on what's in front of them and that communication is extremely important for younger players and newer players and inexperienced teams to figure out pretty early on so let's just watch that clip real quick they need water uh, i'm not sure no, they, they, they need to be know. like three times they should be to be bro I got over over me too. Yo, I'm, I'm watching your left side oil. I'm in pipes corner. I'm in pipes corner. Flash, I'm flash, I'm flash, I'm flash, I'm flash, I'm flash. Could go my green ramp, Seth. I have your left flash side oil. I'm back trying to like shoulder peek this. Oh, I got double naded. Hold up, green I got ramp? your call outs. Yo, back green, deep right spawn. There's three deep spawn for sure. One's like right behind me. Yeah, they could be A. One's like back right green, Matt. Matt, I have your left. Matt, I have your left. Okay, okay. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty straightforward, but let's get to the final clip. So at the end of this round 11, it comes down to a 3v1 and Scump and the squad play this really, really well. So they end up watching the opposing team spawn. Scump is setting up in mid and then one of them drop back to watch the cross. So in this situation, they know he's kind of pushed out towards A side. They don't have to push and rotate all the way over to A. They only have to watch the cross to A because if they spot him, then they can push them all together, collapse in and get that final kill. That's exactly what happens. So they get the call out that he's going A and then they collapse in together to get that final kill. Really textbook stuff to make sure no 3v1 could possibly happen. And they play some textbook search and destroy here. So let's watch it and we can finally talk about it. He's green ramp, green ramp. I'm in green. Is he close? No, 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 no. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Like, nice. gotta kill him. One's still back left OTO and then one's missing. One's back left. I'm in the crack. OTO is back spawn and Mr. Max plays really slow back spawn too. Be careful, though. Yeah, push, 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 push,
Is it going uh, towards uh, Ace Tower now? Okay, connect. You ran right, up the lane. I'm watching. I'm, gonna I'm wrapping back. Do we have bombs down? Do we have bombs down? Uh, you have cross? I'm going to sit rock then. Cross. I got I got the spawn still. All right, you guys are perfect. He can go through vent room. That's about it, Dylan. Cross there. Cross there. Cross there. Cross cross there. there. Cross 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 there. So they just have really, really good reaction and instincts to set up like this. They don't have to communicate it too much. So Envoy drops back immediately after they call out that it might be going A. He watches the cross. This comes like, okay, great, you got cross. I'm gonna sit here, watch mid, make sure he doesn't double wrap back through water or something towards B or in bathroom or something like that. They've got one player watching, wait the back is spawn. Just a great setup overall, great communication. And then Scump immediately as the call out comes through that he's A, Scump sprints back towards Envoy that way. And they make the kill and get the final kill to win in round 11. Really great team play. Perfect search and destroy. You love to see it. And it was just good stuff from them in the squad. So basically that's it. We went through all of it today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Breaking it down. Talking about it. Going through it all. If you guys did, like, comment, favorite, subscribe as always. Um, I always do appreciate the support. I really, really genuinely do mean that. So it just it always means a lot for whatever you guys can do. And I really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And as always, guys, I'm your boy Sub and we'll see you next time. I'm out.